John Campbell Jr. was an American science fiction writer and influential editor in the genre's golden age. Born on June 8, 1910 in Newark, New Jersey, Campbell displayed an early fascination with scientific and speculative fiction. His voracious appetite for knowledge and imaginative storytelling would later shape the course of science fiction literature. Campbell's career began in 1930 at the age of 18 while attending MIT. He quickly became a prolific pulp science fiction writer under his own name and the pen name of Don A. Stewart, which was derived from his first wife's maiden name, Donia Stewart. His stories were characterized by a unique blend of scientific rigor and speculative vision, earning him recognition among his peers and readers alike. Notable works include Islands of Space in 1931, Twilight, and The Mightiest Machines, both in 1934, and the 1938 novelette Who Goes There?, which was later adapted into the films The Thing from Another World in 1951 and The Thing in two versions, both 1982 and 2011. However, it was Campbell's editorial work that left an indelible mark on the genre. In 1937, he took the reins of Astounding Science Fiction, which was later renamed Analog Science Fiction in Fact, revolutionizing the magazine with a focus on hard science and rigorous storytelling. Under his stewardship, Astounding became the crucible for some of the genre's most celebrated authors, including Isaac Asimov, Robert A. Heinlein, and Arthur C. Clarke. Campbell's editorial approach championed scientific accuracy and logical extrapolation, challenging authors to push the boundaries of speculative thought. This philosophy, sometimes termed Campbellian science fiction, emphasizes a commitment to plausible, scientifically grounded narratives. However, Campbell's legacy is not without controversy. In the latter part of his career, he promoted pseudoscientific and far-right ideas. His advocacy of the pseudoscientific theories of Dianetics, which was the precursor to Scientology, and his growing fascination with psionics, a purported field of study involving psychic phenomenon, would raise eyebrows among both his colleagues and the scientific community at large. He also expressed troubling racial and political views, publishing stories and editorials that reflected white supremacy and segregationist ideologies. By the time of his death, he had alienated many of his most illustrious authors to the point that they were no longer submitting stories to him. Despite the controversies, Campbell's influence on science fiction remains profound. His editorial vision and commitment to rigorous speculation continues to shape the genre's discourse. His creation of the anthology series Exploring Tomorrow in 1957, which showcased some of the best science fiction of the time through the radio broadcasts, would further solidify his impact on the genre. Campbell would marry his second wife, Margaret Winter, in 1950. John Campbell Jr. passed away on June 11, 1971, of heart failure at his home in Mountainside, New Jersey. He was 61 years old. Campbell's life and legacy reflect a complex interplay of innovation, controversy, and an unyielding pursuit of the future's possibilities. His contributions to science fiction continued to be celebrated even as the debates surrounding his editorial choices and beliefs persist. His influence endures, a testament to the enduring power of imaginative thought and the ever-evolving nature of speculative fiction. Information for this biography was provided by Brian Kavanaugh. For old-time radio researchers, I'm your announcer, Patrick Andre. Thank you for listening.